Are you all done with your cockpit drill? Yeah. I think so? Yeah. All right, sorted. Um, do you remember from last time we said about um, moving your mirrors down a little? Yeah, they shouldn't have to be moved down. I reckon these are right. What do you mean they shouldn't have to be moved down? They should always, if I'm out on the road, they should be at the correct position anyway. In or out? That's what we said last time. Yeah, yeah, but not up or down. Up or down, you may have to move, depending on what we see, because it's very difficult when you're sat on a path. Okay. So if we've got to go and park again when we're out, that's okay. Not an issue. Do you remember what we got up to last time? The offside and onside. Offside, near and side, near offside, side. yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Would you like me to go over anything with that before we start? No, I do get it. Just practice. Yeah. Um, okay, no problems. Um, is there anything else that we were sort of working with last time? What was we trying to get you to do? Um, prepare, plan. Plan, prepare and plan. Um, and like, yeah. Cool. Like, when you're sat, when you're waiting, don't go in neutral. Or go into neutral. Go into neutral, it yeah. forces the issue on you planning a little. There's one other bit that we've touched on that I'd like you to really work with today as well, is learn to creep before you go. So in other words, if you're in a queue and you see maybe three cars ahead of you Maybe. starting to move, yeah. just start working your feet. Okay. If your gap is on its way and you're at a T-junction, we don't want to go out quick because you're going to confuse them make them think that you're going to pull out in front of them but if you just start a tiniest little bit of work with your feet you're then ready to go into the gap and if that gap then doesn't happen it's dead easy to stop you just press the clutch press the brake again yep. we've got to <laughs> try and plan and start working our feet a little bit before we need to do things mm -hmm. but um, that was a good step forward and Today, I'm suspecting the roads aren't going to be um, really busy. Um, when people see this, it's about um, a week after we actually shoot. We shoot on a Saturday. It's Saturday morning, isn't it, Erin? It is. It is. And this will go out a week tomorrow. Um, so, honestly, with what happened yesterday with all the bars and the clubs and the restaurants and everything being shut down or a lot of things being shut down there's probably going to be less people on the road i know we discussed this a little bit earlier didn't we yes and i said it's it's sort of beneficial to you as well because it's going to allow you to just concentrate on the technicalities behind turning offside and near side and what to do with your car and less worried about other vehicles mm -hmm. but there's still going to be situations all right are you wiping all my um, wipe marks off my steering wheel? Yeah, it's um, wiped down thoroughly after every single lesson, as I will do with yourself after, even though you do live in our house, Erin. <laughs> all right, we ready to go? Yes. Go on then, start your car. Good, no problems. Okay, what did we say about rolling when down? The, the parking brake is still on. Parking brake is still on, okay. Is that parking brake? Parking brake is very good, yeah, it's the correct term for it, very good. How would you take that off? Is there a button? There is, it's that the parking button. brake, yeah. And what would you have to do with your foot brake first of all? Give it a squeeze, press it down, keep the brake pressed, check around everywhere, and then um, you're gonna go. Good, yeah, just roll it down there, Aaron. perfect. What are you going to look for round to the side? Kids. Kids. Yes, adults are just as bad as kids. No one from one of my neighbours getting a new front door. No? Cool. Off we go. So okay. what, what should we do with the feet now? Creep. Should be gas, should be bite. Okay. You shouldn't just be rolling. Okay. You have to learn to preempt what you're going to do. Okay. Get it? All right, nice job. And what's your road like up there, Evan? Good. So we should be doing what with the clutch? Lifting it. What should we be doing with the gas? Good. Nice job. We'll take the next left, please, Aaron. Cool. If 
someone came, make sure you do put your signal on. That's from behind as well. Remember, mirror goes around the bend. Cracker, well done. Where are your eyes going to now? Straight ahead. Nice. Are we good? Could you stop if someone yep. came around this corner? Good. At least the weather's all right. Yeah, did you see the weather forecast? When we're going to be stuck inside, it's going to be well nice. Is it? Yeah. Result. Garden party. Not wrong. Get the alcohol in, eh, Heron? What do you reckon? Not me. Oh. Well done, well done Zachary. Nice <laughs> job. Good. Out, Aaron. You did see the car, but we are here first, okay. aren't we? Yeah. yeah, and there is space to deal with it out there. Perfect. Thank you, buddy. We'll turn right, please, at the top, Aaron. Are you ready to slow if, in case someone came round? Yeah. Came round. Yeah. Get a signalling right, Aaron. Back on our side. You're just staring forward. Clutch down. Stop. Now you didn't do anything. Stop. Just stop. You didn't do anything to get yourself back in. Have a look. We're still halfway over the central line. We are. And you shouldn't be like that, you should be tucked back in. You were just staring forward, you had to do more steer. Okay. We're okay, no one's come. Have a little look both ways and if it's good we'll start to creep. Creep for a moment while you start looking and steering. Come on, creep, creep, creep and start steering. Go on, steer more to get away from pointing at the car. Yeah, good, look around where we're going to go, top of the hill. The kids are all waiting there for now, aren't they? Yeah. So are we okay? Yeah. Alright, sorted. No problems. We're going to have a little look at that fault in a sec, to be fair, Aaron. Okay, about the uh, right turn position. I'm going to make sure you know where it is. Get going first, Aaron. Get going first. Get going. You're too slow for changing gear. Get going. Get second gear now. Up the hill. Good. Off we go. And we're going to turn left, please, at the top. Okay. Now closer, people. Now, when's the gap coming? After, After the silver one. Slow it down, then. Clutch down into first. Get slower. Slower. Now gas. Now bite. And then creep and steer. Look left far. Look left far. Look left far. You're looking forward. Steer, 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 steer. Okay. You've still got to look around. When you look forward, you'll go forward. Good. So make sure your steering wheel can stay still. It can't at the moment, so just accelerate, Aaron. You're okay. staring at the car, Sorry. but that's parked, <laughs> isn't it? It's parked, so drive past it. That's it. Good. Well done. We're going to park here. Can you get second gear in? Yeah. Go on then, get second gear in. But then, yeah, we will have our little park in just this little spot. Good. Look up, you're going still towards the curb, Aaron. Good. Stop, Aaron. Stop. If you go further forward, what's that going to do for this space out in front of you? It's going to make it worse. I don't think you were looking at that, were you? You were just staring at that curbstone. No, I actually no. wasn't. What were Generally you thinking wasn't. going further forward then? Put your handbrake on, secure roll up. I don't actually know. I was actually can't, um, concentrating on finishing my steer. Okay. I actually genuinely wasn't staring at that curve. But that's okay. And then you've got to think, well, I can't keep going it's into that area. Breaking, so yeah. use your brake a little yeah. bit more. You have to have a plan of where you're going to finish mm -hmm. before we get there. That's okay. I'm going to let you just check your mirrors just for a little moment. Happy? Yeah. Now, this is for also some of the viewers' benefit. Few people say you're too laid back and too comfortable. A few people say you're too close to the steering wheel. <laughs> you, you're neither. You're perfect, and I'd just like you to. How do they know? Well, there you go, exactly. So, um, the other thing that I just want to touch on is just how do you check you are the correct distance away from your steering wheel? Hands like that, and then your feet, if you can press the clutch down. So, um, just reminding everyone about the perspectives of dash cams and how they make things look different. Erin is in a very good position. Um, someone said as well about the. Um, Headrest being too close. As you're driving, does your head rest on it or is it just sort of like 
never actually never, really thought never about really it. Thought about it. It's no. not really on it, is it? No. <laughs> but it's very close. Yeah. Can you think of the reasons why having your head restraint close to the back of your head is really important? So that it would protect your head if you went like that? If you were to crash and the head restraint was really far away, how much movement of your neck is there? A lot. So yeah. Yes. That's just really saying to everyone who's commented recently about your seating position, your seating position is absolutely perfect. Your head restraint is in a perfect spot as well, all right? So I'm just helping everyone else out there. <coughs> um, cool, let's go back to the right turn coming out of our estate. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, you, I just stayed in the middle. I didn't actually go back in to the cool. right-hand side. Left hand side, I know what you mean now. Yep, same okay. Side. <laughs> same but different. Um, we've touched on the left and right thing, it's not a problem. I know you meant that side. We don't even really have to discuss the problems with yeah. that. All right, you know the score with that. Any reason why you didn't get back in there, do you think? Because I was focused oh. on what's in front of me. Mm -hmm. Sound. Okay, so just keep an eye on that. We've got a little bit more work to do with the steering wheel sometimes, um, even on that left corner that we do virtually every single time. Um, you do tend to stare forward, you do love a stare forward to steer still, so just keep working on that. Come on, let's get working, yeah. that'll do. Your hands dry? Yeah, look at them. Great, isn't that? Some of the they use at school. <laughs> it's brand new, I haven't even opened it. Do you want to Rations. <laughs> Thank you. It's the same that they use at school. Nice, dear. We all good? Yes. Happy corner. Um, you can get going again. So, when is your plan that we're probably going to go? After this one. Okay. What I'd like you to try and do oh, is assess the plan now. See the white car? Yeah. So, the white it, one. plan's changed. Yeah. Very good. So after the white one... There's a car behind us, it's parking. Good. Oh, he's letting us go. No, he's not. Oh. Um, just sit still. Flashing the lights means, look at me. Do you think they didn't realise we're parked, did they? No idea. Okay, <laughs> so... What was the point on that? No, it, it's just where we were waiting, that was all. Oh, okay. He thought he was actually being really nice. Okay, so he thought he, we were wanting to go. He, he just didn't realise we were parked, but he's come a long way and we haven't moved, so he just probably needed to look up a little bit further and, uh, and deal with things further away. Yeah. But that's okay. Um, remember with the flash of lights, it doesn't mean ever go. Okay. All right. Just take flashing of lights of as look at me, nothing more, okay. and then make sure you know what's what. Right, we're, we're good, good to go. go. go on up. Oh. Nice job, yeah, we're still okay. Nice work. Off we go, Aaron. Well done. Can you find a time to get second gear in? Yeah. Well done. Excellent. Would you like to go back and have a little look at that junction um, that we did just after the video finished yeah. last time? Yeah. Just to let everyone know, there was a, a um, dodgy junction. A dodgy junction. Aaron had a couple of stalls, and funnily enough, the uh, the batteries died on both of the cameras. Am um, I too close to these cars? No, you were perfect. To be honest, that's okay. So we've just made a little plan to go back and have a little look at it. Um, head down and go and see what we can do to improve it. How could you tell how far you are away? Door width. Door width. Do you think you are more than that open door width from those vehicles? Just about. Just about, just about is okay, but because you're doing what, 14, 15 miles an hour, you're still <laughs> safe to be able to stop. But that's not me saying you should go faster, Aaron. No way in the world. There are people here who are trimming hedges and trees and they could be about. Yeah but try not to just stare at it, yeah? yeah? If you are able to stop within the distance you see is clear, you're still safe and you can carry on, yeah? That's it, keep going for a bit, that oh, signal's sorry. way too early, cancel. At the speed that we're going, remember, determines when we should signal. So keep going, if you were putting it on there, people think you're gonna park. How close is the car? What's your plan to do with this? Yes, that's better. So have a little look both ways, get prepped now, Go slower, slower, do your steering. Erin, look left. Thank you. Now you're going towards the kerb because you're not looking left. Creep, creep, 
you have to look left more. And your steering was far too busy there, steering left more, steering right, steering left, steering right, rather than just looking round to the corner. You've still got to practice looking left to turn, it's really important. Okay. However, your car control was a cracker there, well done. Good, what's your road like there? Speedy. Speedy? I mean, <laughs> speed, yeah, speed up, good. Go on then, Erin, up to third, go on. There you go, it's all good. Excellent. Do you know okay. what these 20 signs are for here on the right hand side? When light like, shows, when that, that's probably like when the schools are open. Correct. And, that. and, that. and if the lights are flashing, you go to 20. it's an advisory speed limit of 20. Advisory, so they didn't have to. No. Um, however, I have known people fail tests because they haven't, because they haven't gone to 20 when there are people about. So if there are people about from school, absolutely, no more than 20. Okay. Well done. Are we gonna stop? No, get slower. I'm getting thinking of the traffic coming out from the road on the left. Get braking more. Less brake, less brake, less brake. Now pick first. Now pick first, now set the gas, find a bike, creep sooner. And then away with people. Well done, the load's better. Good, off we go. Well done. What's happening to the road up ahead, Erin? Going into one lane. Do we need to slow, or no. are you just looking at the floor? So how come you're slowing? Look at the cars to your right. There's no one. So therefore, go. Yeah. Take more in, not just the uh, the piece of tarmac in front of you. Well done. I agree. Yeah, that's good. Well done. Did you notice this one edging a little bit? Yeah. When people edge a little. That's always potential for them to go. But were you ever worried because of the speed he was edging at was really, really slow? Yeah. Were, so you, were you worried though? No. no. Do you understand what I'm trying to get you to do with this creep a little bit mm -hmm. before you actually need to go? Really helps, good. Nice job, nice little start. What are you expecting next? He's like to change. So what do we need to know behind? Uh -huh. Is this one gonna be a problem? No. Good, are you ready to stop? Have a little glance as we come through the junction. Remember, it's not a giveaway, but what are we looking for, Aaron? Emergency vehicles. And emergency situations, maybe yeah. someone jumping at a light. Perfect, good. Is the road good again? Yeah. You go up to that 30 or near us. Damn it. Good little start, by the way. Well done, good. Could this grey one come out? Yeah. Could the second one turn in? Yeah. Happy with them though. Yeah? yeah. Therefore, what should Speed we do? Up. Yes, good. Is anyone overtaking going to be an issue? No. Okay. Anything coming out from this yeah. junction to the right could be a problem. Yeah. To Not stop. to be a problem, yeah. Be prepared to stop. That's all good. Nice work. Well done, Aaron. Good. What are you expecting from the lights by the time we get there? Is this one an issue? Could have been. Happy. Good. Well done. And try and assess now which lane is the best choice. Do both of those lanes seem to go straight through the junction? Yeah. Which one are you going to pick then? Left one. Well done. Well done. What do you think's going on around your junction? Do you really need that gear? No. So you should really put the handbrake on first, Erin. Sorry. You don't have to apologise, you know the score with that. Relax your feet. So we've just stopped. Oh, They're am going. I allowed to stop here? Yes. They shouldn't drive over the pavement to get to that road. Okay. All right. All right. So the lights have just gone green and they're going. Good. So going back to them, maybe sometimes moving up a little further can allow them through. However, they're on red as well. Okay. If, they were, so if, they were if they were on green, green I'd try and go, go a little a further better. and keep out near the white line. Okay. Right. Good. Do you see the there green go. man on allowing people to cross our road, this left-hand side? Yeah. So are we going to be allowed to go if it's letting people cross? No, and they're going there, but I reckon once they've stopped... The green man's your trigger. Okay. Because look at this guy with the red top on. Now it's stopping people crossing. Clutch down, put it into first. And when the lights change, we're gonna creep slowly as early as we can. Creep slowly. You oh. rush the clutch though, Erin. You just okay. lift it up, clutch down, and it'll start. Go slowly, creep, creep, creep. Now squeeze and go. 
So you don't have to apologise, you're fine. Quick second gear. Nice job. Let's get going again because the road's narrowing. Go on, you're okay. Nice. You deal with the parked car safely. How do you deal with that? Yes, good. No one there? Do you even need to slow? Do you even need to... S no, you're fine, aren't you? That's good. But we are taking the road on the left, just where those bollards are. Keep going for a bit, Aaron. Now, what's your plan to do with the signal? When are you going to tell people, do you think? Just after this one here. I think now. And then slow and assess the sharpness of the corner. We need to slow and choose a gear before we get here. Break a little more to give you time. Second's good. Gas and creep. Just creep for a little. Creep for a little bit and look far, not forward. Look at where you're going to end up in 10 seconds. Where are you going to be in 10 seconds? Did you notice as soon as you did, your steering worked and you went well? We're going to find somewhere to park after the junction before the blue car, please. What's your plan to do with the signal? What's your plan to do with the signal, not the gears? Well done, we don't need the gears to park. Good, good. Remember, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. You haven't finished, Aaron. First gear, you've stopped, and you're way too far away from that kerb because you're just staring at it. Go close to it. How do you know you're close enough? Where should it be in your windscreen? There. And then how do you get straight? Where do you look? Ahead. When have you finished your stay? You haven't. Keep creeping. You have to keep creeping until you finish. Now stop. This was always the best place to park. Cool. Relax. By the way, that's a good start. Well done. Alright, that's cracker. Let's have a little think of the stall just for a little second. I went up with the clutch too quickly. You did. It was exactly the opposite of what I was saying to you. <laughs> what did I try and get you to do? Creep. Bef creep. So before you actually need to go, <clears throat> you need to creep. And people struggle with this. What they do when they learn to drive is they wait for the gap to be upon them. And then rush. And then it. rush. Yeah. And that's a classic for what you tend to do as well. All right, you're no different than anyone else, Evan. It is, right, okay. If you're warm, it's dead easy. Um, which one do you think um, is gonna allow you to put the air conditioning on? The AC button. Which one, there's two. Menu. M menu, give it a press then. Good. And then, which one of these do you think it's gonna be under? Air quality. No, mm. auxiliary ventilation. Okay, auxiliary ventilation is when the car's off, so it's okay. not that heating and ventilation so okay. twist it down to it using you, this you, no you can just press or you can use this twisty thing press and then climate air conditioning press there you go so it'll be air conditioning on now and if you just press home and there's an actually a dead easy way of doing it just press map for us as well all good um, there's a dead easy way of doing it you can actually tell the car to okay. um, you say, hey BMW. Hello, what can I help you with? Turn the air conditioning off. I've deactivated the air conditioning system. You do it to turn it on. Is it not voice reckon? Hey BMW. Please. Hello, oh. what can I help you with? Turn the air con on please. I've activated the air conditioning system. Sound. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a little gimmick on this car, but it is actually useful. You've got to embrace all these technologies, yeah. all right? Because you imagine, rather than going through that process of founding when, when you're driving, yeah. for me, it's too complicated. There should just be a button for air conditioning rather than a menu. That's one of the things that I dislike about this. However, it's easy to fix. Good. So learn to creep before we go. That's really important. All right, going back to what we've said. You can do that in all scenarios. Have a look at this car behind. We'd be creeping, we'd check now, and now be creeping, and now be going, rather than only starting to set your feet as that car's passed. All right, and that's really important. This junction up ahead, should we have a little nose, Yaddy? Yeah. Don't know how to try to <clears throat> Okay, so we're approaching from this road here. Last time, we actually did it from the other way. 
when we were turning up this way. We're going to mirror image the junction and it works in the same way. It's a dual carriageway and there are central reservations and these are your two central reservations and you can even see the arrows on them. That This one goes in this direction and that one comes out in that direction. What we need to do is, it's not even this road here to be fair, this uh, Netherwood Road is junctioned into this one. So really what we do with this road, we go into the middle, we head around to the right and then bend left and it's classed as straight. It's exactly what we did last time, Erin. It's fine. But there's just a give way as you come up there and then there's a give way when you're in the central reservation to then give way to traffic from the left. So you give way first of all to traffic from the right. You make sure your junction in the middle is clear because if that was blocked you'd try and emerge and you couldn't get there, could you? Does that make sense? No? Are you with me? Yeah. Are you following? Yeah, I'm quite lost. You're quite lost, thought you were. To give way? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You arrive at a give way, you look. Yeah. If there's any cars coming side to side, what do you do? Stop. If there's no cars coming, what do you do? Go. Okay. Honestly, that's it. Okay. We go into the middle of the road, round to the right, middle. and then bend round to the left. Okay. And that's it. Okay. It's just straight. It's the tree line road across the other side that you'll be able to see when we get going. Mm -hmm. Should we have a go? Is this the junction we were at the other time? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, but yeah. from the opposite way, it's a mirror image of where we came from last time. So instead of go, are we going to the left this time, we're going to the right? We're doing exactly what I've just said there. We go into the middle. In this side, because <coughs> you can see our road that we're on here, Parthen and Drive. Yeah. Two roads, this one's coming down this way because it's a yeah. dual carriageway. This side's going up that way. So there's a middle section where we can wait and give way again if we need to from traffic from the left. So it's two giveaways, that's it. We can do this. Easy, do this. all right. Try not to look at the floor. If you look at the floor, and if you don't plan when your gaps are coming, that's what happened last time. You rushed a little, rather than starting your feet creeping before you actually needed to move. Okay. Let's go and have a go. I'm there to help, Aaron. it's not a problem. I'm gonna give you a little bit of help with this, because. I know it confused you a little bit last time, but try and just keep your eyes up and scanning round. Is it clear after this one? Yes. Notice you're a bit late getting your feet ready. Yeah. Yeah, we are okay though. And look how far that one's gone before you've actually yeah. moved. Do you understand where yeah. I'm coming from? Squeeze now. Good. Quick second gear. And we're taking that road ahead where the silver car is. Where, sorry? Where the silver car is. Where the black one has gone in front yeah. of us. Yes? Yeah. So we go into the middle, round and then there. Get slowing, no signal. Get looking. Clutch down into one, keep braking. Clutch down into one, keep rolling. And aim towards the middle, to the left hand side of the middle. Now creep forward, is there a gap? Yeah. Go on then. What's the blue one like? Wait for the blue one. Now creep, Aaron. Look to the left, Aaron. Who's coming? People. Good. Which is the last one? Blue, um, black Creep one. Creep now. Slow. You're a little bit fast. Now, left signal. Follow the black one. Follow the black one. You were looking at the floor again. We're going to park somewhere in on the left before the learner. Keep going, Aaron. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Signal left again. Keep moving. Keep rolling. Just affecting the van if you just suddenly slowed without then retelling them. Keep rolling until we're past this entrance. Good. Good, secure it. Cool. Cool. Relax. Did it go better than last time? Yes. It did, didn't it? What's your thoughts on it now? Yeah. What do yeah. you reckon? Just, I didn't see the blue one in time. You didn't see it, or you were hoping you were going to be done before. Be done before. You're right, and that's yeah. exactly what people do. So you weren't soon enough moving for the gap again. You wait till the gap is there, then by the time your feet have worked, you're too late going, and then you've got to change your mind. Because mm -hmm. even after the blue one, you got you stopped, 
but then you were staring at the blue one, but there was already a gap well before the bus coming. Make sense? Mm -hmm. The bit when you were in the middle was a bit better, but do you understand the point that I'm getting at? That if you creep too fast, that black car that was coming, what will they think? I'm coming out. We mentioned it before with a van, didn't we? I think it was near the petrol station a little bit earlier on. That it was creeping a little bit. And, yeah, very and slow. I, and I asked you, were you ever worried. worried? And you went, no. The black car coming from the left there... Was probably quite worried. ...may have been worried. All right? Yeah. So you have to learn to go slower with your feet before you need to go. It's a mindset that really needs to change to give you some calmness and some comfort in what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, this planning is really important. But that was a good attempt. Should we go round the block somewhere and go and have another little go at it from this way? Yeah. Should we go and have a go at that? Mm -hmm. Okay, super. We've got a set of traffic lights first of all at the top. We did this junction as well last time and we're going to turn right at the traffic lights. So this is one of these offside or near side turns. Ooh. Okay. Let's have a quick look at this. <clears throat> so we're coming from here mm -hmm. and we're turning right there with this area being quite big again dual carriageway oops a lot of the time what you'll do is turn offside to offside with people so we'll be coming from path and drive this side and people coming from lorenzo drive the other side have got a big area to pass each other before they turn. Mm -hmm. It's not set in stone now. None of these junctions are unless they are marked. There are no rules, there's no right or wrong. But generally, when you have that situation with a bigger gap, that's probably what's gonna happen and go on. All right? When we go, there's not a big area to steer across to the right on this junction as well. The reason being is, the centre line that we've got here continues straight through the junction. There's not a central reservation on our part. The central reservation runs through here. So when we are doing a right turn, we're going to be near the central line and we haven't got room to turn across that way because we'll be in towards oncoming traffic. Does that all make sense? Yeah? Should we go and have a little go? Yeah. You don't need to pull that face, Aaron. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Remember to try and creep before gaps. Okay. Fine. So. We are good. Check your blind spot then. Start to creep and keep watching. What about the silver one? Is it clear after the silver one? Check the your blind spot again. Gray. One, yeah. Oh, no. Is it clear after the white yeah. one? Check your. Oh, no. no. After the van? Yeah. Good. Start to creep slowly. Very slowly. Is it still clear? Is you've, yeah. Is it changed? Signal right? Oh, sorry. There's a lot of learners about who sorry. could have been needing your signal to move off. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's not just behind that we're looking for. Oh. It's everything. Try not to rush. This is the junction up at the top. And the right turn that we're doing, we need to stay out near the central line, oh, Aaron. Yeah. Turn them right. Well done. Now, have a little look at the position that the taxi goes to. Keep moving for a bit. He comes quite far forward okay. and he's can clear before us. So we're going to go quite far forward. Stay straight, stay straight. Clutch down, gently brake. Keep rolling, keep straight, keep straight, keep rolling. Put it in first gear, Evan. Gently brake and stop. Now, we need to creep before our gap gets here. Creep very slowly now. Creep. Is that one stopping? Mm -hmm. Good. And on we go. Very well done. Now what's your road like? Good. Quick second gear and park somewhere on the left. Do we need to tell anyone? Yeah. Good. Good. You must keep rolling until you've finished. Finish. No, ahead. Ahead, not in your mirror. Finish your steer. Now check your mirror. Done. Magic. Relax. What's your thoughts with that one? It was okay. I feel like the road was quite dead though. So. It wasn't. Not at all. Okay. There was a fair few things happening. We had the taxi originally as we got there. We had a fair few cars coming the opposite direction. 
If that man didn't let us go, would I would have had to wait for him to go? Good. Why did he let you go? Because I had an indicator. And I was was I too far forward? Not at all. Did you see other cars as you were in that junction pass you, your side, and then come around the back of you? No. I know you were probably just locked onto that them in front, but they were. Okay. They were coming past and round the back. Okay. Which is good. That's that offside to offside way of turning. All right. Did you notice what I mean about that big space in the middle? Mm -hmm. We had quite a, a way to go forward yeah, so we could get right to turn. the road. Yeah. Which is perfect. It's a classic offside to offside turn. Mm -hmm. Going back to that car that flashed, should it flash? No. No. It shouldn't, it shouldn't flash. Even when it flashed, did you know what was happening? No. What made you know that it was clear to go? Because I actually said very little to you. So there was no cars coming from that way? There shouldn't be, because don't forget, as <laughs> ours are on green, what are side to side going to be doing? On red. Correct. So he was stopped, so it's kind of... He was stopped. Brilliant. So, always remember that if you want to let someone go, the best way to do it... Is stop. Not flash. Flash is way too vague. It's way too confusing. And what people tend to do when they flash is that other people feel compelled to go, in a rush to go, and they do it without looking. That's I don't actually know how to flash anyway, so it's good. Excellent. So we're going to have a little go here because there are situations that you may be able to. Can you see any danger up ahead that would restrict us from flashing our lights do you think people would be mis, uh, misled by it at all is there anyone crossing the road or reversing out we, we're not going to do it when there's cars close to us so this one's coming past and have a look at the white one as well yeah. it's on this stalk Erin put your fingers around the front of that stalk but hold the wheel also no your left hand there you go and reach your fingers you don't have to grab with your thumb <laughs> there you go good I think that's clear out there and if you pull it towards you, just gently, go on, pull. There you go. That's how it flashes. Do you see the blue light yeah. that comes up on a dashboard? Yeah. If it's still clear, have another quick go. Okay. Yeah. So now what situations then should you flash your lights? When you're in an emergency. Mm -hmm. Like what? Go back to my theory now. Theory, um, that's okay. Let me help you then. Isn't it like you should only flash people of your presence? What does if, what does that mean though? If you're like, is it when you're broke down or something? No, Not it's just that you're there. What if um, someone was say if you were coming over the bridge? Yeah. In the middle of the race course. Yeah. At night, and it was past 11.30 at night. And you can't sound your horn. Good. How could people potentially know that you're coming over? Would a flash of the lights help them? Yeah. So that's one really scenario. Really loud music. Really loud music. <laughs> Funnily enough though, whenever I'm in a situation like that, I will always put my window down so I can hear the cars also. Yeah. Even if I can't hear the beep, you can often hear them. You can hear a car's coming without even knowing it's there. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, the flash of the lights may very well be an alternative. The problem is, is because people don't use it in the correct way. They use it to let people go, or they use it to reprimand people or tell people off. It's always seen in the wrong way. Okay. I did a video um, the other week about someone overtaking, and I showed people a clip when I overtook someone that I flashed my lights before I actually overtook and everyone was incorrectly saying that would be taken as aggression well only by people who don't know how to use the flash of the lights correctly mm -hmm. and that's their problem if they don't know how to use them correctly and they perceive it in that way but we need to change that thought with it so flashing of the lights is when people haven't seen you and you're trying to let them know that you're there never to tell off never to reprimand never to let someone go never to say thank you no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You can smile. Have your teeth. <laughs> smile, yeah? yeah? Nod your head. When your hands are on the wheel, do that. Say thanks. Yeah. But not flashing, because yeah. it's too generalised and it's too... Uh, yeah. 
people don't know. All right, that junction was good though. Should we go round and have another little go at it from the other way? Yes. We're gonna go straight on this time. We're gonna go back down to that first junction that you, you weren't really happy with last lesson. Off you go. We're going around the roundabout. We're actually not, no, we're gonna turn left through the shops. Okay. So come on, what are we working on now, Erin? Yeah, it's just... What's your, what's your plan to go? Check your blind spot now, then it looks clear. Get creeping. Is the bus a problem? No, no. he's really slow. Keep watching. Oh that goodness. was too fast though, Sorry. Aaron. And you should have signalled to him. There's someone in that. Yeah? Get second gear, yeah? You have to learn to creep before you go. Next road on the left, please. What, what are you going to do regarding the signal? What's the bus going to do behind? Stop. He is going to stop. So the signal is less important to him. Why am I stopping? How sharp is the corner? Quite. Look round the corner then. Are we okay at this speed? Yeah. Good. Look up the road. Nice job. Pedestrianised area. Still pretty busy, to be honest. Okay. Be ready to slow in case the white Mercedes comes straight out. Okay. Don't think so. Don't think you can get out. Look for problems. The pigeons will move. Don't worry about them. Okay. Don't worry about them. It's fine. Okay. Good. We weren't going fast enough to get one of them. Okay. This guy, is he going to be clear? Yeah. Good. We're going to turn left when we get to the top, please. How soon are you going to let people know around? Good. Okay, let's get slow and let's get looking rather than just the back of the silver car, Aaron. You're just looking at the back of the silver car. First gear, you're too late with it. No planning with it. Do you understand? You arrived there then, you thought. Go slow. Good, just creep. Just creep. Good. Just stop then. Great, look at the people. Handbrake on. Good. No point creeping forward yet, is there? But where can your right foot go to? When are you going to creep? No. Go on then. Good. Push back down a little. Good. That'll do us then, won't it? Rather than steering away from brake and stop though, Aaron, not the handbrake. Okay. Okay? You use your feet. Leave the handbrake. Le use your feet to creep forward now. Just creep. Clutch down a little. You're steering left, Aaron. You're not looking left at all. Erin, you're so close to this kerb. Creep a little now and steer right. Steer right, now steer left. Forget the signal, just steer. Clutch down a little, clutch down, steer right, stop. Put your handbrake on, swap your right foot over. Now creep, creep, are we good? Yeah. Good, try not to stare at the cars, try and look to see whether they're gonna be a problem. After this one, it's fine. Keep moving, keep moving, else you'll confuse people, Erin. It's really important. Go slow, try not to just escape. Okay, I'll help you in a sec, it's not a problem. Good, look at the space. Do you feel as though you could stop if someone opened a door? Yeah. Nice job. We are gonna have a go at a roundabout before we stop. You're fine, this one's okay as long as they've seen you. They're not moving. We good? Yeah, off we go. There's the roundabout. Try and relax. You're fine, Erin. You're totally sound. You actually did pretty well there. Good. We're going to turn left, please. Nice job. Who's coming on the roundabout after these two? Nobody. How sharp is it? Oh, there's another car now. Yeah. What, what position's that one going to go into? Can we go after them? Yeah. Look where we're going. You're staring at it. Steer around to the left. Can we go after it? Yeah. Look left. Is the girl finished? Yeah. Good. Off we go then. Cracker. We're going to find somewhere good to park. Are we allowed to park on a bus stop? No. Where's a good place then? After the bus stop. Good. Have a look around. What's your plan? And where, where do you fancy going? Here. Just, yeah, good. I agree. Get braking rather than just pressing the clutch, Erin. Keep rolling. And it's better if we pass this blue van a little. Keep rolling. Keep straight. Keep rolling. Go a little closer. Still not quite close enough to that curb. That's better. Now get straight. Now check your left mirror out. We're good. Secure your car up. Good. Relax. Go on then. I know you just pulled that little bit of a <laughs> face. But oh, why? Was I don't on? know. That's just a lot going on really, wasn't there? There was a lot. And what did you do to actually make it? You didn't do it on purpose, but what did you do to make it more difficult? I don't know. <laughs> just staring at things, Aaron. Yeah. Rather than taking everything in. Okay. What position did you get into? close to the curb. Mm -hmm. Did you know the cyclist had to then go on the pavement next to you because you were going closer and closer <laughs> and closer? I know. 
I was watching him, I was keeping an eye out and that's my job to keep everyone safe. But what have we said about looking to turn? Look. You have to, you really have to. If you're looking to the right, all you're doing is just steering away from something you don't like and you're guessing. Mm -hmm. You would have, if the cyclist hadn't taken the avoidance of going up onto the pavement, he was seeing us coming across, okay? But if he hadn't have done that and come down the inside, I would have been either pushing you away or on the brakes, okay? You have to look around more. You've got to follow your left curb more, mm -hmm. okay? Um, when cars come from the side roads, how can you tell whether they're going to come out or not? How fast they're going. Okay. I honestly don't think that you do that though. Just press the screen again. Press back to current location. Done. Sorted. Was that not aesthetically <laughs> pleasing for you? No. That's alright. Um, good for doing it though, by the way. Good for just having a go at it, not a problem. Um, so yeah, when cars are coming out from side streets, you've got the information to know whether they're going to come out. Yeah. But do you think that you use it enough? No. You don't, do you? No. You just sort of like, See them in. everything has got like a big red flag on it that <laughs> could come out and kill you. And you have to think a little bit more logically about things now, about what is risk and what isn't, and what yeah. you need to do with it accordingly. Okay. Well done with the roundabout though. Did I have to twist your arm to do though? Which direction was I trying to get you to look? Left. Left, where you were just in fixed on that car. And remember, we're trying to arrive at a gap. We're trying to arrive at a space. We cannot both be arriving like that at the same time. Yeah. Something's got to give. Mm -hmm. And if we're approaching a roundabout, it's our speed that has to give. We've got to slow down to allow that one to pass and then yeah. we can go through after. Mm -hmm. Good though. Any little bits that you want explaining, or are you okay with that? I know that was pretty leery for you. It was, okay. It was. It wasn't actually as complicated as you thought in the end, was it? No. No. Okay. Good. Um, we're gonna have a little drive on. We're gonna go ahead at this set of lights, and then we're gonna go back to that junction that. Okay. We, are we gonna stop before the junction, or are we gonna keep going? Uh, that depends on what, though. If I nearly kill anyone before that night. <laughs> if you nearly kill anyone. Um, I trend if there's any hazards or anything. Yeah, or if the there's lights. anything that we need to discuss about what we do with the lights, so it's not a problem. All right, go on, okay. off we go again. See what you can do now with this and you move off. And remember the signals are in front are really important for people. Yeah, that one's moving up ahead. Yeah, definitely. Don't forget your blind spot, just last oh, thing as well. Yeah. All right, we've got to get you doing more now. So you, you planned your space quite nicely, you put your signal on, but you forgot your last well, blind spot check. Why are the not going? You're lifting them up too quick. What, the clutch? Yes. Okay. Quicker down, slower back up. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to follow the road ahead. Are these two girls a problem to the left? No. Okay. Excellent. Were you ready to stop if they had have just died yeah. down? Okay. What do you want to happen with this? Yeah, like it to go green. Go slow then. Keep to the left there. Keep, to the, Keep left. to the left. Definitely. Slow it down. Use your brake a bit. Come on, slow it down. Get prepped with the gear. You're just staring at the back of the car over and you're doing nothing about the junction. Now, when the lights change, creep early. Creep. Creep. But go slow. Slowly feed that power in. Now lift it. Now off we go. Good. Squeeze and go. Well done for the little check. Great stuff. Well done. Is it safe to go around the park ones? Yeah. Okay, off we go. I would like a little gab about what lane choice you were going to go and choose there. There's just a little point about that. Okay. You didn't do anything bad, I'm just going to just go through one thing. Keep going for us. That signal's too early, early, isn't it? Come on, plan it, Erin. Yes, good. Well done. Now remember, we don't look at this until you're close and straight. You finished your steer. A little glance in your left mirror if you need to now. Yeah, we're good. That's better. Good, secure it up. All right, not bad at all. Well done. Yeah, I know good. what I did. I was going Go to the um, right, so I thought it was left turn, even though there's no markings on the road. Okay, so, so that needs to be a little bit more planning with that. Yeah. Why is there an issue of going to the right lane? Because I think the people on the left will think I'm going to go faster than them. Try and overtake them? Um, maybe, but honestly, there's a bigger problem than that. 
When people turn right, who do who do they have to give way to? The people coming from them that way. Uncommon traffic. <laughs> So that car that was in the right lane, with a right signal on, had to give way to oncoming traffic. Okay. We don't. Well, not if you're going ahead, do we? No. So which lane is going to flow better? This lane. The left side of the two, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so generally when there's a choice, the left side is for going ahead or left, and the right lane is generally for going right. Yeah. It's not going to be like that in every situation, but a lot of the time it will be. Does that make sense? Okay. Good. A question about the Do I have to indicate that I'm going to the left first? No, because where will people then think that you're going to go? I'm going to go in the left. Not, Good. Yeah, that makes sense. So we're yep, taking, yep. again, this road across the other side. So we go into the middle. Give way. Give way here, where the green line is. Yeah. Give way at the second road, yeah. where the van is. Yeah, yeah. And then we head around to the right. We finish our steering to the right. Check, signal left, and then head off. Okay. And all that needs to be done, the finish of the steering and the creeping before the gaps, all needs planning. Looking okay. far round corners, not at the floor. So you can start to see from those lessons ago when we started about how much I've tried to force you to look round corners and how important it is. Good though, Aaron. Well done. Today's been magic. Great, great job. Superb. Should we get going again? Yeah. Morning. Good. Good. Slowly feed the power in. Now lift it and go. You can hear it and feel it, can't you? Good. Cancel the signal. And then gear at the correct time. There. Good. We're going to go ahead. So you can see the junction now. You can see the area in the middle. Yeah. It's quite sharp. Who's coming? People still. So gently slow. Clutch down. What gear are you going to pick? First, keep rolling though, there's no one coming at the minute. Creep, Aaron. Creep. Creep. Who's coming? Nobody. Creep. Creep. No one's coming. You've just told me no one's coming. Good. Who's coming from the left? People. Slow it down. Clutch down. You're looking forward, Aaron. Okay. Which is the last one we're waiting for? The silver jag? Ye yeah. Creep. Very slowly. Slower. Now off we go. Steer. Finish it. Signal left now. And then round we go. Keep the squeeze gas. You're looking forward, Erin. You're looking forward. You're going across the curb because you looked forward. Shame, because it was pretty good apart from that. Good. Good. Well done. We're going to find somewhere to park again, please. Just need to put that signal on earlier. That car was closing in behind and you didn't change what you were doing with that. Okay. Yeah? It's not just to say I'm doing it. It's there to help others. Change it. You park there was very good. Good. All right, relax. What's your thoughts on that attempt? Hasn't yeah. it improved? Yeah. Loads better. Yeah. What were you saying to me on the approach, though, about who was coming? I don't know. What? It was clear. Okay. I had to twist your arm to make you <laughs> go. Yeah. Yeah. You have to change what you're doing with your car to suit the scenario. Mm hmm Yeah. You were still able to stop if someone came, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Good. What was your creep like before you went on the right turn when we were in the middle of the carriageway? I think it was okay. Thought it was pretty good. Thought your speed was pretty good. You were just a little laboured in going. I think I was a little bit too fast as well. I had to kind of like a little. It too, you had yeah. to dip the clutch a little. Yeah. But you're learning that now, and you're learning that today to creep, and then it it actually enables you to actually get going a little bit quicker mm -hmm. and sharper, doesn't it? Good job, well done. Ready to go again? Nice job. Is there anything else I can help you with, with that junction? Mm. No? Feel a bit better with that? Yeah. Good. Is the creeping before the gap a help? Yeah. It gets you looking, doesn't it? Yeah. Good. Okay, go on in. Well done. Nice. Is there anyone to signal to now? No. What about the car that's coming up behind? It's fine, isn't it? Yeah. Good creep. Keep looking. Now lift, now accelerate. That's the bit that you've got to get accelerating a bit quicker. Good. Well done with your gear, though. We're going to get to the giveaway and turn right. Yeah. So, how close is the car behind? When are you going to let them know? How sharp's the corner? You need near the central line. And look how many cars coming, Aaron. Slow it right down. What gear are we going to pick? Use your brake. Use your brake. Use your brake. Use your brake. Roll. Less. 
gas and bite and creep and steer a lot left. You're looking forward. You go around there, Aaron. Clutch yeah, down a little bit. Clutch down a little bit. Steer this way, Aaron. Stop. Stop. Good. We're turning right. But we've got a position here to see, haven't we? Yeah. Which is the last one you're waiting for? Blue. Creep, creep, creep slowly. Steer, steer, Just move your hands. What's it like? It's good. Start accelerating, straight to accelerating. Straight to accelerating, well done. But smoothly. Good, not just on or off, remember, it's not a switch. Yeah. Honestly though, well done, good. What's your road like? Yeah. Good, go on then. Good. We're gonna get to the lights and turn light, please, Aaron. Okay. How far from this car? Well done. What's your plan to do with the signal? Can you see anything that's stopping us signalling at the moment? Yeah, these bits here. Junction. Don't bother. It's a side road. Just oh. keep near your central line, people can see what we're doing. When are you gonna tell people you're turning? Good. So this junction isn't like it, but if it was, people then have a chance to get out of the way of the lane that we're in, so they don't get yeah. stuck behind us turning. What are you leaning forward for? Brake and stop, Erin. Handbrake on. Good. You don't need to lean forward to see. Your eyes need to do that. <laughs> do you need that gear? Is there anything that's saying to you we're not going? Just the oncoming cars, but could we be shortly? Um, We're at the front of the queue as well. Clutch down, put it in first gear. There's a lighter piece of traffic coming up the road now. The green men aren't on. Everything's great. saying that we maybe could go soon. You've taken the handbrake off by lifting the clutch. Put your handbrake okay. back on again. Creep now early, but slowly. Good. Now get going. Are they oncoming traffic? What are they doing? Second gear now then, Aaron. Now look far as you can and up the road. What's your road like? Okay, I had to help you out a fair bit there, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, you have to plan, not look at the floor. Floor helps you zero. What do you plan to do with the next set of lights? What are they gonna be on when we get there? Green. Do you think? Close to people behind. They were there. Stay in your lane. You didn't do anything, Aaron. I had to break and stop you before the line. Okay. Come on, what now? I don't know. The car stalled. And brake on. Good. Clutch down. Good. Into what gear? First. Just look at the traffic coming from this side. Okay. There's none. Therefore, what's the plan? You've taken a handbrake off again. Try not to lift the clutch until you're ready to actually move, until you need to. Creep early. Good. Are you still lifting that clutch too quick? Yeah. Come on. We'll help you out with that in a second, Aaron, but you just needed to brake and stop. You know how to stop. Don't you? You just didn't do anything with it. Good. That's first gear. Relax. You must chill. I'm going to help you with the cyclist. You don't need to worry. All right? That's a good shout, though, to be checking your mirror. Now, signal right now. That white one's holding back. Are we good? Cancel the signal. Stay straight. Stay straight. Keep going. Check and put a left signal back. And glide back. got to stop gripping with that thumb. Yeah, because I'm going. It causes you mayhem. Left turn of the lights, please, Aaron. Who's behind us? How close are people? You're just looking at the floor. Our lights are on what colour? What speed? Great. What gear for the corner? Use your brake a little. Listen. Needs a gear, Aaron. Which one are you going to pick? Good. Clutch back up. Is there any, anyone going to be at the give way coming in when we get no. there? No. Therefore, we're good to go. On, look round the corner far, up the road. Nice job. Well done. Good. Smoother. Smoother. Good. You don't have to steer away, you have to be ready to slow. Find somewhere to park and on left. Can we get in early in here? Sorry. You can't just steer away from stuff, Aaron. Keep rolling. You haven't finished yet. Get straight. Secure. 
All right, no problem. You getting a little tired? No. No? Okay. Just your concentration on the planning has just fell off a little. Mm -hmm. All right, so try and get it back again because it's the planning which keeps you calm. It's the planning which then stops me having to get involved mm -hmm. and that keeps all the car and the learning experience in a nicer place. So, come on, it's down to you. Um, all right, last little bit. Um, what happened at the main set of lights? We were turning right where I was explaining about if we're in that right lane and we signal, people coming up behind then have a chance to not get stuck behind us. Mm -hmm. There was a little bit of planning that I had to force you to do there and you, you tend to... Um, I don't know, just look at that little area in front rather than working on the traffic lights. Is there anything I can do to help you in knowledge wise about anticipating the traffic lights? Do you think you've got it? But it's just a case of remembering to do it. I think that's where you're honestly at. Okay. Um, anything there with the traffic lights where I had to stop you? What's your thoughts? I was just pressing the brake really slowly when it should have been a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just had to squeeze it more. I was waiting for you and waiting for you and waiting for you. And that's quite a... It can be sometimes a destructive way of teaching people. But sometimes it's sort of like a bit of a... A slap. A wake up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I can say more brake, more brake, more brake and get you sorted before it but sometimes you've got to take a little bit more responsibility for that. You should yeah. do that now, Erin. Yeah. Shouldn't you? It was a simple stop. It was a simple stop. Yeah. Just press your brake more, press the clutch when you need to, come to a stop and get sorted. If the car stalls, though, what's the process? Don't panic. Don't panic, or try not to panic. Um, um, what do you do? the clutch down. Please. You keep it stopped. OK. Secure it, because then you know it's not going to roll. And then... Press the clutch, and what does this car then do? It starts up again, doesn't it? What would you have to do in a car if it wasn't a stop start? Well, if it stalls, you don't always need the handbrake as well. It depends on whether you're going to be stopped there for a while. I got you to put the handbrake on back there because we were still stopped at the lights and needed it. But if you just stall, you don't necessarily need the handbrake. If the car is secure and safe, you don't always need it. You press the clutch. You don't even have to take it out of gear. If it's stalled in first, leave it in first, turn the car off, turn it on again, then you're ready to go. Did you follow any of that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I actually did. You, might, you won't always need the handbrake if you haven't got a stop start car. You'll have to leave it in first if it's in first. You can do it, and then just turn the key off on. Yeah, okay. What would make you um, decide whether or not you needed the handbrake? If you were... Uh, at the lights, or if you weren't, weren't going to roll. If you weren't going to roll, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you're waiting at the lights for 10, 15 seconds or so, you may as well put it on. That's why you've got you to use it. All right. So it's a simple process to get the car started again after you stall. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, should we get going? Yeah. Go on then. Off we go. Oh, there's a lot of cars here, isn't there? Uh huh. That means we just sit and wait, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> what you mean, sarcastic? No, not at all. If, not at I all. I have to wait if they're coming, do I? Not unless they're going to turn in here. No, no one's got. So I'm going to signal for good, them anyway. Good, 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 good. Where, no, I'm going to. Have you put your signal on, or have you just held it? There you go. Sound. All right, creep. Good. And still keep creeping until you hear it. Now you can lift and go. Smooth though and you still grab with that thumb. You have to stop yourself doing that. Hold the wheel still to get your gear. Oh. Good. Right, and then slowly, then accelerate. Now pedal more. More. Gear. Quick down. Smooth and slow back up. Then accelerate to suit. But remember, that third gear, if it gets to a sound where it needs fourth, is too fast, isn't it? Well done. Nice position on the road this time down here. Well done. Good. Look at the next set of lights. How many lanes are there? Two. Uh huh. Are we overtaking anyone? Yeah, we're not overtaking anyone. We're not turning right, so we should be in behind the red one. Okay. How close is the one behind? So we don't need to signal. How much 
traffic's coming out. No. Good. I'll well, quickly use the lane again to get away. Have a listen to your engine. What could that do with? Gear change. So do it then. Don't just tell me. Do it. Smooth. And then, oh, that wasn't smooth. It wasn't smooth, no. No, why is this going? What's happening to the uh, two lanes, Aaron? They're merging. That was just a little late. You had to be onto it way sooner than that. Okay. We were okay in the end. Where's the second grey car in front of us going? Right, but I know what you mean. <laughs> Your left and right are meant. Okay, well done, good. Good. What lane are you going to pick near the bus? The middle one, well, not the middle, that one. The one, the one that burnt. Good. The one that the V is in. The, the bus wish to come out. <laughs> yes. Who's to our right lane? Nobody. So, again, you've got to preempt things. If these lights change, you stop. How much brake do you actually need this time? Not as much as the other time, did you? Oh, did I press my clutch too soon? No, it was okay in that gear. Try and listen to manage when you do that. Why can't we go at the minute? What's stopping us from going, not just the red lights? The Come on, get prepped, Erin. Get prepped. You just go up into things. Come on. Good, the green man's gone off from the opposite direction. You've taken a handbrake off. How come you're moving, Erin? What's the reason behind moving? Just hoping it was going to go. No, no, that's exactly the opposite of planning. Hoping is not planning. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> it's the opposite. This side, Erin, you're drifting across without even looking. Do you know where the white Range Rover is to your right? You need to get going, Erin. You need to get going. Come on. Don't let your head fall off you. Come on. What should we do with the black one? Is that time for a good gear change? Can we get a third yeah. in there? Yeah, go on then. Well done. What colour the lights on around the corner? We're going to turn left when we get to the lights. Okay. Do we need to slow yet? No. You know, how close is the white Range Rover? Right. When are you going to tell them? What lane are you going to pick? The left one. How sharp's the corner get slowing right. down for it? Different now, isn't it? Nice time for the clutch. Let, oh. No, do you need the brake, Erin? Or do you need the gear, sorry? No. How come you're changing gear? For what reason? I don't know. It's not the gears, it's your eyes. Okay. You've got to get looking a little bit more, all right? That brake was a little harsh, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Good, now get watching. What could you pick up? What could you work off? Is there anything else apart from just the cars that you could the look lights. at? The lights. Side to side, yeah. yeah. You can't really see. See the red car in the middle, not the orange one, doing a U-turn. Yeah. The red car is looking at these lights here, up to the right, and we can't see them very well. It's a bright day, is it? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? So, filter traffic finishing is often a trigger. So when the red car, grey car, and the black car finish, we know we're not going to be long clutch down put it into first we're at the front of the queue so that filter traffic is finishing okay therefore we might not be long let's have a little look see whether i'm right looks as though they're going for a little bit more there's still another one that's just come through now some more filter traffic's coming through it could be us and these are the little triggers maybe not another filter traffic lanes coming through and that's my mindset all the time gap in the traffic now no there's one now could be us, be ready to creep early. Not rush, but creep early. Creep, good. Check for cyclists this side. Yeah, we're good. Hold on, how sharp's this corner? Not that piece of tarmac in front of you, around there and around and up. You're going too fast before you've looked. It's because you're looking over the front. Looking over the front ruins everything. Yeah, come on, around the corner. It's the only way you can tell how sharp it is. Cool. How much is coming out from the hospital? Not a lot. Are you ready to slow and choose a lower gear if needed? No, second's good. Gas and hold the bite, but hold. If it's clutch has gone down in second, you've got to coax it away by using that clutch a little bit slower than that. Try not to rush. Rushing is not planning, is it? What's your plan to do with these lights? What do you need to know, Erin? Gonna Look how close the car is behind. And he's not concentrating, he's trying to get out. Is the one next to you holding back a little now? Yeah. You have room, you're fine. Good. Could these lights change? Yeah. Is the van door a problem? Yeah. Check, use a little bit more. Use your brake. Use your brake, Erin. Use your brake, Erin. Clutch down. You weren't onto that as well. You were just hoping that things were going to go your way rather than doing stuff about it. And that's not what driving's about. I'll leave this one too, yeah. Okay. 
Good. Creep early, slowly, slow. Now accelerate. Now accelerate. And second. That was better. Well done. Good. Is your road good? Yeah. Go on then. Off we go. We get to these lights and turn left, Aaron. Why can't we signal at the minute? You're on this line. Sorry. Slower. Aaron, slower. Leave the signal. Wait till you can have your hands still and then put it on. There. Good. You grab for the signal rather than doing your steering. No handbrake. Oh! What did I do? You put the handbrake on before you'd stopped. Okay. First gear, Aaron. I'm not going to be long. You grab with your hands. You have to work your feet. It's your feet and your eyes, not your hands. Yeah? Come on. Look around your corner. You're pulling yourself forward to look on the floor more. Pull yourself forward to look round more. Pull yourself forward now, and now look round more. That's better. Look at the position you got into there. Great. Really good. Well done. Do you think this road is worthy of second? Mm -hmm. Get the steering finished and set, and get your second gear in. Now start thinking about the silver car. What should we do with the silver one? Where's the best space to deal with it? Behind this one here. Hold back then, use your brake early, clutch down. Hold back early, just stop. Just stop, Aaron, just stop, just stop. Do it soon, first gear now, and you should be creeping. Good, well done. And out we go, should be accelerating. It's just a little late for things. Active. You've got to get ahead of the game. We are turning left over the bridge, please, Aaron. Leave the signal. Is your hand free to take it off? Mm -hmm. Yes, take it off then. Good. Well done. And we're going to take the next left. How close are people behind? What's your plan for the signal? Okay, get slower. You're not slow enough. You're not slow enough. Clutch down. You're looking forward again, Aaron. You're not looking round. You don't know what it's like until you get there, and that makes it scary. Creep with your feet now. Second will be fine. You didn't creep. You just launched that clutch up again. Slow for this one. Slow for this one, Aaron. Stop. 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 Clutch down. Stop. Stop. You must listen, Aaron. What are you going to do to get prep now? Are you just staring at it? Look at it. Stop. You're in second. The handbrake's not on. Clutch down, Erin. Don't rev. Mm -hmm. Gas and bite now. Come on. Come on, Erin. Your heads fell off. Come on. Look around. Come on. You're staring at that front and going wide again. Come on. Got to get your concentration a bit better. Look far. Good, not on a doggy. Don't run doggy over. Oh. Turn right, please. Who's behind us, Aaron? What's your plan? What should we do with the van? Wait. Now creep. Now creep. Just creep slowly. Creep slowly. Well done. Clutch down a little if you need to. Better. We good? Nice job. Now what should we do with the clutch? Come Slowly on. Slowly back up. We don't need to stare at that piece of tarmac on the floor. Come on. Got no idea where we're going to park, Aaron. We'll assess it when we get round there. You try and work out where it's good to, to leave it. Mm. Stick it on the path if you want. We need to go slower, Aaron. Oh. Come on, you know what to do. Gas and bite, clutch down a little. Good, creep, creep, stay left a little bit more. Creep, good, clutch down a little, try not to rush. Creep, stay right a little bit now, point the garage. We're done, clutch down, brake. Secure. Well done. All right, relax. Bit of a dodgy last five minutes, you, hasn't it? Your head fell off a bit at the end there, didn't it? Not All me. right. Um, any reason why you can turn your car off as well, Adam? Any reason why your head fell off there? Do you think? No. 
and you're a bit tired to be fair, you were yawning a fair bit throughout that, but you can't be like that in the car, you've got to now take a little bit of responsibility to say come on, you've got to be at it and working all the way through. Um, yeah, I'm always going to be there to try and help you out, but you could see that slide off towards the end of that lesson. Mm -hmm. But it's irrelevant. What did you learn today? What did you pick up? That the junction wasn't as bad as it should be. It's not, is it? Yeah. It's yeah. not. And creeping. Do you think that creeping before the gap is really important? Yeah. Good. Um, was that successful towards the end of the lesson, the last five minutes or so? No. And then it becomes reactive and then everything then gets a little bit panicky and I have to then tell you more. So that's a big key to success on your lessons. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that you think we should be going over from that? Were you okay with the, um, the, the right turns at traffic lights we did? Um, a good right turn where you sat in the middle you did a great offside to offside turn we had the central reservation yeah do you understand with the central reservations if you've got a longer space in the middle you're more than likely going to go mm -hmm. offside to offside and round the back mm -hmm. do you think you've been able to pick which way that we're going to be turning offside and near side a little more today do you think you've sort of a little bit better idea before it happens or are we still being quite sort of like ooh, we need to work it out as we're doing it probably still need to work it out when we're doing it okay so there's a little bit more work to to try and preempt that mm -hmm. um is your understanding of how creeping appears to others yes in, yes it's important isn't it mm -hmm. and do you think that's helped you be less worried about um sorry tony's tried to ring me a couple of times um do you think it's been less um problematic when you've seen cars coming out from side streets do you think you've worried about them less or do you still yeah, think yeah a little bit less. worried about them less all right Okay, um, we're going to try and do a fair bit. If both of us have got a little bit of time off over the next few weeks, we're going to batter it, Erin. All right, yeah. well done today. Thank you much. Thank you. All good.